Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to start a new series on the channel. What I wanna do is I wanna find my new non-acid wheel cleaner that I'm going to continue using. So as you can see, I have six different wheel cleaners here. These are all like acid-free, non-acid, however they'd like to be titled. Um, but it's just something that isn't gonna have like the uh, purple or red reaction when you spray it onto your wheel. So um, those are a little bit more expensive generally. Um, these you can usually get in more of a bulk size and they're a little bit cheaper and they also do a great job of cleaning tires So it's what I prefer to use as a regular wheel cleaner and then just to break out the iron removing wheel cleaners every month or two months so The reason why I like to use these more is because this is a bad example because this car is pretty dirty being driven in the rain a bit But my wheels don't generally get that dirty. I do keep on top of cleaning them wash the cars weekly to fortnightly so you can see they're both kept pretty clean, but then we have the daily, which is absolutely filthy. I've actually been letting this get as dirty as possible for this. So you've got some white wheels. They get really dirty, driven every day, and hopefully you guys can see just how dirty they are. So every, I don't know how often, but every time the wheels get this dirty, I'm going to test more of these products. So the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to, I was going to do sort of four at once, one on each wheel, but it's just not fair because the front wheels on this car get a lot dirtier than the rears. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pair them up into twos. I've got actually three Australian made products here. So I would like to have them, um, you know, go against the Americans and the UK. So run through them all here. We've got PNS Brake Buster, their non-acid wheel cleaner. We've got Black Label Wheel Cleaner, also non-acid obviously, um, Meguiar's Non-Acid Wheel and Tire Cleaner, Merch Grimoff, Heavy Duty Acid Free Wheel Cleaner, Auto Finesse Imperial Wheel Cleaner, and lastly, Platinum Potions Wheel Cleanse. So these are all advertised as acid free. Um, some of them I've used already, some of them I We'll try and do videos on separately, possibly on one of these two cars before I get to comparing them. So I just do like to have separate review videos. But so yeah, we've got the PNS is American, Black Label is Australian, Meguiar's American, Merch Australian, Auto Finesse is from the UK, and Platinum Potions also Australian. So we've got three Australian products to compare against some of their international competition. If there's any other wheel cleaners you guys think I should add, then let me know in the comments. Um, they do have to be acid-free wheel cleaners, so not the iron reactive. So that's the sort of test I'm going for here. So yeah, potentially if we can get two more. Um, but yeah, so every couple of weeks I'll do this next lot. Today we're going to start it off with also introducing the test, but with two of the products we're going to test. So we're going to go uh, PNS Brake Buster versus the Black Label. So I will run through the sizes of each product as I kind of am using them. There's no point going through them all now. So the PNS probably the best in ways as it comes in multiple different sizes. So here I've got the one litre spray bottle. You actually buy this empty and then you just buy the um, one gallon and fill it up when you first buy it. So that's what I did. So you don't actually get this filled up, which I've just done myself, but you can get it in the three different sizes. So the 473 mil bottle is going to set you back $18. Then if you get the 3.8 litre, which is what I did and then bought this separate one litre spray bottle, that's going to be $46. So pretty good value, which is why I've been using it. Been through a few gallons of it so far, but I just wanted to try something else. Um, and then you can also actually get it in a five gallon for $216. So that makes it really good value. And I don't think any of the others come, actually I know the merch does as well, comes in that size. Um, but yeah, it's a big benefit if you're using a lot of these, if you're just detailing every day, pumping out cars, to buy it in five gallons or roughly 20 liters is a big plus. Um, and then the black label, only comes in one size it seems so that one is the 500 ml bottle and is $25 so I mean being Australian made um, the guys at Black Label the owner I've spoken to a bit is a chemist he has decided to make a few products uh, because he was just not happy with some of the things he was trying that he was buying so he made his own car care range um, and he's really all about it basically, really into the chemistry. So I reckon if you reached out to him and asked for a five litre, he would probably be able to do that for you. But for now, all I see on the website is the 500 ml bottle for $25. So we're gonna basically be testing these out 
Uh, we're going to do the front wheels and the back wheels on the, the Barina. So I'm going to grab these two. We're going to use a pressure washer and a bucket with multiple brushes and mitts. It has no soap or shampoo or anything in it, it's just plain water. So we're going to spray onto the wheel and we're going to see how it does for a spray on rinse off first. And then the back wheel we might just spray on agitate and rinse off. But you're going to use them both as directed and see how they do. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get it set up and get right into it. All right guys, so we've got everything set up, ready to go. We've got our wheel bucket with various brushes and everything we're gonna need. Um, so what I probably didn't mention is what I want these to achieve is cleaning the wheel and cleaning the tire. Um, I know some of these brands have products that are separate to do both, like to do each. I kind of like when they do both, such as this always has for me, done pretty well. So yeah, I'm looking to get the wheel sprayed down. While that's working in, I'll be spraying the tire and then I would like to agitate, get some browning coming out and yeah, basically while I'm cleaning that, then rinse the whole thing off and see how it does as a wheel and tire cleaner for touchless for the wheels. So yeah, with that said, let's just get into it. Start spraying this down, so get my bottle to work. So we'll get the tire. You can see instantly a bit of browning happening here. So we'll get this wheel. Um, this PNS product, I would generally dilute it. I think most of these I would dilute, um, but a wheel this dirty, I would use just straight up as is. And you can see that tire just doing an amazing job at just bringing a lot of the browning out. So I'm gonna grab my wheel brush to start. Give us a good scrub. Hopefully you guys can see all right too. It's got the GoPro on my head, on my head for this. <clears throat> um, yeah, figured that was probably the easiest way to do it. Um, another thing I really like about this penis, just look how much it foams up. It makes cleaning um, nice and easy, foaming up as you're going. So I'm gonna rinse this wheel brush off before I dunk it back. And I'm just gonna give the wheel itself another minute or so. Um, we don't want it to dry, obviously. But yeah, as it says on the label, um, one minute or greater, so it's probably been about a minute. So might as well rinse it now. It's actually starting to rain, so I'm gonna have to really be quick for this. Okay, now straight away you can see that did an amazing job cleaning. Obviously, you know, little bits here where you'd need some agitation, but that would be basically as simple as now, not even needing to spray anymore. And just agitating with the brush. Got my easy detail brush here. So literally just water. If you want these to be like perfect, then you would agitate obviously with the product, but really it's loosened it up that much. Right, just quickly going over this brush. It's about all you'd really need. And then if I wanted to, spray a little bit on here, a little bit more on the wheel, and you can just see how much this stuff foams up as you're agitating, which makes it really nice to use. It's got a really good user experience. 
So that's why I like this stuff. I actually haven't used it undiluted in a while. I've always just had it already pre-diluted in the bottle. And yeah, this kind of surprised me how well it worked. Because these wheels were really filthy. So yeah, really good. Foaming up. You can see how far a little bit goes. Um, so rinse this brush off. May as well actually just do the whole thing. And I'll grab this little brush, a couple of sprays into it. That foaming is just really satisfying. So it does make it quite easy to use. It's a reason why everyone loves this PNS Brake Buster. It is just a good product. So there you go. And rinse that off. We didn't obviously do right in the barrel, like I said, but more for time. So I'll rinse this completely off now. I mean, you can clearly see it's done an amazing job cleaning these. So now let's compare that to our black label silver wheel cleaner. See how this stuff does for an Australian product. So yeah, keen to see. I'm actually pretty surprised. It's been a while, like I said, since I used Brake Buster undiluted like that and it did a better job than I kind of expected. So you're pretty happy with that. Let's move over to the other side of the car and um, compare. Okay, so like I said, really need to be quick. Um, to be fair, this wheel is the dirtier one. So won't be um, completely surprised if this doesn't do as good of a job. But let's just give it a go. So we'll shake up under the tires first. And oh, yeah, look at that instant browning. Okay, I'd say this stuff, it smells stronger and that has definitely affected the tyre more. So yeah, that's, um, that is just eating into that tyre, look at that. I'm gonna get my tyre brush Give that a little scrub. <clears throat> oh, I'm pretty surprised by how strong this stuff is. Rain doesn't seem like it's picking up, so if it doesn't, what I might do is go back to the other wheel, spray it again on the tyre, and see if it brings out any more, and do the same to this one because. I feel like this is really just eating away at the browning in that tyre. So I think it might do a better job. Um, give this brush a rinse. Dunk that back. It's going to give this a minute or so to continue dwelling and then we'll rinse it off because this one actually says one to four minutes so yeah also obviously both for best results spray on a dry cool wheel if your wheels are hot probably don't go and use something like this definitely rinse it down first but yeah i'm going to uh, let this sit for another minute or so and we'll go ahead and rinse okay so it's been a couple of minutes I'm gonna go ahead and rinse i just don't think this is going to quite clean this wheel as good as the first one but this wheel was far dirtier um, so yeah let's go ahead give this a rinse
Yeah. All right, so you know what? That's actually done a better job. That's cleaned more, and it was actually the dirtier wheel. This one had a little bit more grime built into it, and it has clearly done a better job cleaning. I don't know if you guys can see in the camera. Um, these wheels are pretty stained already, so if you're seeing any sort of brown, uh, it's just been like that for a while. But, I mean, yeah, this is cleaner. Um, let's just go another spray. Um, same sort of thing we did. So we'll get this wheel brush. There's not really anything for me to kind of agitate off, um, but I wanted to see how it does foaming. So a couple of sprays on the brush, a couple of sprays on the wheel. And yeah, I'm gonna get a tire again. Into so the tire not turning brown now. So clearly I got that pretty clean. I'll see how this uh, foams up. So it definitely doesn't foam up as much as the PNS, but still a very nice amount and really nice to work with. So it's not like it's just drying up as you're using it. It is foaming up nicely, but it's done to me a clearly better, better job cleaning. It just took off everything basically. So I'm pretty impressed with this stuff. Let's try and get into some of the spots where there is still a bit of grime with the brush, such as the back of these spokes. But so yeah, the, the foaming, the PNS is clearly um, got over this one. I'm just gonna chuck this back into the bucket now. I need to rinse because we sort of know what's happening. And I just want to get into with this brush. So you can see this stuff foams up really nicely. But that PNS clearly wins in that. I'd say better cleaning ability is going to the black label. sure I get this all nice and clean. Just gonna give it another rinse. So we didn't get any more browning off and spray. You can see the tire where we sprayed it. The foam is basically white still and pink, the color of the product. And yeah, completely clean wheel. I mean, I didn't do the barrels, same as the other side, but that's all. Just wiping straight off. So the barrels could be clean as well if I just had the time, but I was worried about the rain, which has already died off um, on the other side. So I could have kept going, but what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take this brake buster and a pressure washer. I'm gonna go over the other side So what I want to do now is I want to just spray this again onto the tire. See if any more browning, or if the one, the one scrubbing did the job, which yes, it looks like it did. So you can see that staying white, not really getting any brown. So yeah, they both did a great job cleaning the tire. Both didn't really need a second application. If I scrub, I'd probably get a little bit more, but I'm not really too fussed about that. So yeah, pretty happy with that. I'm gonna rinse this off and we'll wrap up the video. All right guys, so as you can see, the wheel is clean. Also did the back one. So didn't do it on camera because it did start to rain. As you can probably see by the car, getting a little bit wet. Um, this side as well. Now, it's 
just in case you guys can't tell in camera, this side definitely cleaned better. Um, I actually just found a big spot that I missed on the other wheel because I didn't agitate it. This one, there is nothing. I've just gone over it. Um, I just started to rub it off with my finger over this side. So in here, this was still pretty dirty. And yeah, I probably didn't agitate that section obviously, but I just felt that we got a far better result on this side. So both the tires seemed to clean about the same, but the wheel itself definitely worked better over here. So yeah, let's just have a final thoughts section, I guess. Um, like I said, I feel like this black label wheel cleaner did a better job. Um, now, that's the, the upside to it. I guess the downsides would be the price. It, if you're comparing the 473 mil brake buster, which you can buy, which was $18 to the $25 500 mil, it's obviously a little bit more expensive. But then the fact that you can get the brake buster in the larger sizes. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna reach out to the guys at Black Label and ask them, do they or can they offer a five litre option at least um, to be able to refill the bottles? Because that would then, and depending, depending the price of it, that would then really lean me more towards this one. Um, the foaming would go to the PNS, um, but this one still foamed up fine. It wasn't like it was just drying and you weren't really getting any suds out of it. It foamed up really nicely. Generally, if I'm just using one of these, I'll have some car shampoo in the, in the bucket with my brushes as well, so that'll actually help. So it doesn't really, it's not a, a deal breaker in any way, but just I always did like how well this PNS foamed. Um, I could say either one of these you could easily dilute. Like I said, I diluted this one a lot in the past and after using this one, you could definitely dilute this. It doesn't need to be full strength, but for a wheel that dirty, it's uh, quite good full strength. Um, so, I mean, what I want to do with this Depending on how many of you guys are watching this and commenting, I'd like to let you guys have some vote on which one of these wins and goes ahead. So obviously, um, we're gonna have, you know, next up, I don't know if this is definitely the order they're going in, but you know, the Meguiar's versus the Merch and then Auto Finesse versus the Platinum Potions. Um, so obviously something will move forward into the next round. So let's say it's the Black Label and then say the Merch wins that. And then I really do need another two wheel cleaners, don't I? And then say the Platinum Potion wins that, which would be nice, and it'd be all the Australian products that win. But we then need to basically put these two against each other and have a winner, and then the winner out of these two, you know, so on. So I'd like um, to get some feedback from you guys, which one you think is the winner here. Um, if I do hear back from these guys with a size on a five litre that they can do, then I will let you know. I'm gonna have links to these two in the description anyway. Um, definitely recommend to go check out Black Label because I actually never heard of them. After using this, I've got a few other products to try out. I'm really keen to see what else they do because this wheel cleaner really blew me away. Um, but yeah, so let me know in the comments which one of these two you think wins. Um, I may put a pinned comment and let you guys reply in that. And then also leave me a comment, let me know what you think of this video, this series. Leave me suggestions on some other wheel cleaners you'd like to see tested out that are non-acid based. Um, and yeah, leave a like as well. Let's help grow this video, um, get more views on it, and we can continue growing the channel. It'd be really good can keep testing more products. So yeah, if you haven't already subscribed, definitely go down and click that as well. But with all that said, that's gonna be it for this one. So hopefully it wasn't too long. Um, hopefully you did enjoy it, but until next time, I'll catch you guys later.